just God is amazing. Life is just a marathon, so basic. Fresh pain that things hate me, Damon. Life ain't gotta be hard, just keep it basic. Welcome back to Fort Meads Declassified. I'm Monique McFadden, along with Gloria Martin from the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office. And today we have with us Candace Henson, Executive Administrative Assistant for the Meade Cluster, and Mia Bennett, Community School Program Manager at Meade Middle School. And today we're going to discuss the upcoming Meade, uh, well, it's more the Meade Cluster. Event. Um, awesome. Winter Wellness event. So, can you tell me your roles that you have in the Mead Cluster? Um, so, I support Dr. Daryl Kennedy, who is the Regional Assistant Superintendent for all the 13 schools in the Mead Cluster. Um, not only do I support him, I assist in supporting um, the principal secretaries in the cluster and the principals. Mia. And I am a first year community school program manager. Um, my principal is Carla Steinbach at Me Middle School and my role as the community school program manager really is to work with students and families and to help connect students and families to resources outside of the school building or to bring those resources into the school building and make them more accessible for our families. Perfect. So Carla, with you, I'm, I'm talking about that. I know Carla is the uh, principal there yes. in middle school. So have you all, you all were very instrumental in putting together this wellness event and, you know, developing its format and everything. Yes, we were. Can you were. tell me a little more about that? Sure, sure. We, um, Ms. Steinbach and I collaborated with Dr. Kennedy. He wanted to have a um, winter event, and so we looked at some of our school data that was comparable to the other community schools in the area, um, as well as some of our other Mead schools outside of the community school umbrella. And we looked at some of that data, looked at some of the pieces that our students and our families um, really wanted to hone in on and get a little bit more information about, um, which led us really to this umbrella of wellness and creating an event that was going to provide particularly parents, but also students with opportunities to learn more about how they can embody overall wellness. Perfect. I love the idea. I do like the idea and the overall yeah, absolutely. And also, I know that you all have collaborated. The Me Cluster Schools have collaborated with the Friends of Me. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy about that. And we'll talk more about that as we move forward. And this is something you guys do every semester, right? Um, yes. Yeah, so we started doing the cluster events last year. Um, that was our first year. We did a fall event um, that was very successful. It had over... 1,500 people that came through the event, um, and then we did another event in the spring. Yeah, you were um, on the podcast. Yes, yeah, so I did come to the are. podcast for that one, too. Um, and that one was just as successful as the first one. Um, so we knew we wanted to do it again, um, but we wanted to do the fall event, you know, slightly different um, than the spring event so that we weren't technically having the same event twice in the same year, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yes. Um, so that is the reason for this, you know, end of fall, early winter event happening on December 9th um, to be a wellness event. And this event's taking place at Mead Middle School, so that's why you guys are taking so much part in the planning, right? It's yes. a Mead Cluster focused yes. event. Whole yeah. cluster. Yeah. Whole cluster, but with the, with the high school under construction mm -hmm. still, um, me middle school seemed to be the best fit to yeah. bring the cluster together and have the space to do that. Yeah, yeah. it's not just students and parents from no, me it's middle, not, it's also... It's all 13 schools mm -hmm. are involved, so the 13 schools um, have been invited, their students, their families, community stakeholders, um, various business partners, um, so... Basically, if you are in support of a Me Cluster school, um, or if you want to be of a support to the Me Cluster, 
then you are definitely invited to partake in our event, see what's going on, um, and see all the positive things that surround Me Cluster. Mm -hmm. What kind of activities or attractions could people expect to see if they attended? Or even participated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, like I said, we're we're really focusing on that overall wellness, um, and we also wanted to bring in that aspect of community connectedness. And so, the workshops are really they're they're more focused on on our parents, but we're also going to be offering a childcare element. But we're looking at jazzercise instructors from Maryland Jazzercise. We have um, the. Anne Arundel County Mental Health Agency is coming out. Um, we also have uh, Classrooms for Hope. Shauna King is coming. Um, Blissful Body Yoga, and as well as the Cambio Group, so Dr. Lamar Shields, um, and the Conflict Resolution Center. And that's just a couple of the program pieces. So we really want our parents to come in, participate in a workshop, grab onto some strategies that they are going to be able to use immediately, mm -hmm. um, themselves or really with their families um, and just come in and enjoy and have fun and, and meet other people as well and see you know the outside resources that are also available to them and be able to connect with people um, within the community that maybe they don't know yet mm -hmm. and they'll be able to um, partake in more than one of the workshops because there'll be um, different time slots for them mm -hmm. um, you can register beforehand or you can choose to register on site for a particular um, workshop that you, as an adult, want to enjoy. Um, and like Mia said, there will be childcare offerings um, and activities for children so that there could kind of be a separation of the parent and the child so the parent can focus on the workshop at hand, um, whether it be yoga or whether it be how important attendance is um, mm -hmm. in AACPS and how that benefits your student's well-being. Um, and then the students will be able to partake in fun activities while their parents are doing that. Mm -hmm. Wow, let me ask a quick question. I know that we did this in the spring, at the spring event. Mm -hmm. So will there be student performances or? Yes, so there will be a, a few student performances. It won't be 13 um, performances as we have 13 schools, but there will be a nice amount of student performances throughout the day. Um, but we are definitely going to save those big student performances for the spring event, um, which uh, we could talk about later. Absolutely. We love to talk about the spring event over and over again. We want to let people know that we will always have a spring event. Now we'll have the fall-winter event as yeah. well. Yeah, and the fall-winter event um, may be different each year. It may not always be a wellness event. Mm -hmm. We'll figure out what our parents want and what they need from us, and we will see how best we can support our parents and our families. Mm -hmm. So um, it may not always be a wellness event. We like to do surveys and see what they want from us, and then we will be able to provide that to them. Perfect. And Mia, you mentioned that during our Friends of Me meeting that a survey was conducted. And as mm -hmm. a result of the survey, that's what came out, the whole wellness theme. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yes. the different rotations that you're offering during mm -hmm. the event. Yes. Oh, so yeah. this is a very intentional programming piece for the Mead cluster. Thank you. Monique, you mentioned Friends of Mead. Could you tell our audience more about what Friends of Mead is? Yes. So Friends of Mead is, it is a... It's an offspring of what we have, our Community Covenant Council that Fort Meade enjoys with uh, local businesses, local government, uh, federal and state government. Everyone that comes together, we come together once a month, and as a result of that, we thought we need to better hone in on our community partnerships with the schools. We have seven schools located at Fort Meade, and as a result of that, we wanted to make sure that we were all coming together, we were all hearing one another, we were all working together, and as a result of that, Friends of Me was formed. All right, well, we're gonna take a quick break to hear from our Command Information Chief, Chuck Yang. Hello, Chuck here. On Thursday, November 23rd, we celebrate Thanksgiving, and you can join us at the Freedom Inn Warrior Restaurant, 8502 Simmons Street, here at Fort Meade for a Thanksgiving meal. Lunch is served from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Holiday meal price is $11.20 for civilians and military service members E5 and above. 
E1 through E4 at a discount rate of $8.30. Cash your credit cards are accepted and dress is casual. Enjoy and may you have all the best delights in life. Happy Thanksgiving. And we're back. So what are you hopeful about uh, with the community, that some of the takeaways, what do you want them to get from this uh, winter wellness event? So I really think our focus is threefold, right? We want them to gain some strategies around wellness. We want them to be able to take them away and implement them at home, whether it is self-care for themselves or whether it is becoming more connected with their family um, or you know, even their community. Um, we want them to know that there are resources not only in the school building, but outside of the school building, wherever their school building or you know their children may be. Um, and that it's okay to connect with those partnerships or even reach out to you know the middle school or the high school to say, you know, I, I went to that wellness event and I'd really love to go circle back with um, you know Miss D from the yoga and go to her studio or I'd really love to um, connect with Anne Arundel County Mental Health Agency. Can you assist me with making that connection? Right, that's really the purpose of my position is to help with that connection. So, what kind of resources would be available during the event in terms of, say, for instance, you are partaking in the whole yoga class and mm -hmm. you, you're like, oh, I would love to do this. This is really, you know, makes me feel better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And is there going to be, do you know if the yoga studio will be offering any type of um, discounts or membership discounts or coupons or anything like that? So I can't speak specifically to discounts, but I've asked all of our participants um, as well as our vendors, and I'll, I'll speak about that in a moment, um, you know, to come with their business cards, to come with advertisements, because this is just as much an opportunity, again, for them to reach out and connect with members of our community as it is for the community to reach out and, and gain from them. Um, but so a, another piece to all of this is not only the workshops, but our vendor resource tables. So we do have an opportunity if there is any other organizations that would like to be involved in this event that are not yet involved, we would love to provide them the opportunity to reach out and host a vendor table. And that will be from about 12.15 to 1.45, which is right around the, the family lunch breaks. Yes. Um, and they will have that opportunity to go and peruse not only um, some of the tables that correlate to the workshops, but some other vendors that were not yet ready to you know, provide a workshop session, but wanted to still provide resources for the families. Oh, perfect. That sounds great. Also, so if you want to become a vendor for this event, how do we do that? Um, they can email Mead Cluster Events at aacps.org, and then um, that email will come to one of us, and we will provide that information to them. Now, I know I noticed during the planning session that this was a little different in terms of the vendors. Normally, the vendors are there throughout the event, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. this time they're going to have a certain time period right. where what is about two hour mm -hmm. window about that time mm -hmm. because we wanted the focus to more so be on the workshops mm -hmm. and not just the vendor tables and people going to see the vendor tables but actually being able to focus their attention on the workshops Perfect. well great can uh, you tell us more about where people can find more information about this event so um, we will be having posters around the schools. Um, the event information will also be going out through Parent Connect messages. It will be posted on school websites, um, Twitter pages, Facebook pages, whatever pages these schools have social media wise, mm -hmm. it will be there. Um, and basically word of mouth and seeing the advertisement of the posters and flyers that are going around. Hashtag me strong. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we wrap up today, is there anything else you want people to know about the event? I would say that we really want them to know that this, this can be an all-day event for them. They can pop in for a session that they know that they're very interested in. They can come for two. We, we want to see them to whatever capacity they're willing to come and have fun and you know meet us. We want to meet them. We want them to meet one another mm -hmm. and really bring it together as a Mead family. Yep. Um, we will also be providing lunch. Um, I can't say what it is yet, but... There will be food at lunchtime <laughs> that you don't have to pay for. 
So free lunch, or should we say free lunch? It no. is. It is a free lunch. <laughs> New free lunch. And it's a, and it's a free event. It's it a is free a free event, event okay. altogether. All the workshops are totally free, mm-hmm. so you could do yoga for free. You can try it. I know you all wanted to try it before, and you just haven't had the opportunity. Um, but you get to try it on December 9th for free. Um, and if you ever wanted to try Zumba and you just couldn't do it, you get to try it on December 9th for free. Mm-hmm. And if you wanted any ideas on nutritional or healthy eating, you get to try it again on mm-hmm. December 9th for free. For free. And also so conflict great. resolution. Absolutely. Yes. There's so, so many activities and workshops um, for our parents, families, community members to be a part of. Um, so just come out and join us. You do not have to attend Mead High School, Mead Middle School, um, any or any of the schools. schools. Um, but if you want to come out and be of a support to the Mead Cluster, then you are totally invited. Absolutely. And friends of Mead, we really, we know that we've done well with the past events. So mm-hmm. if you've been in attendance to at the past events, then absolutely you should be a part of this. We welcome you. We look forward to you coming out and participating in that. So with that, ladies, I am extremely grateful for your being here today and sharing with us about the Me Cluster, Friends of Me Winter Wellness event that's taking place December 9th. And from 10 to 3.30. Yes. From at 10. Mead Middle School. At Mead Middle School. Thank you again. Thank you for having us. Yes, so thank you. So again... Candace and Mia, thank you for so much for being here to, today. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time to share the specifics about the Me Cluster Winter Wellness event taking place December, December 9th. 9th. <laughs> yeah. From 10 to 3.30. From at to Me th- Middle School. At Me Middle School. <laughs> thank you again. And thank you to everyone who listened in today. We'll see you next time on the next episode of Fort Me Declassified. Oh, just God, it's amazing. It's amazing. Like it's just a marathon, so basic.